Welcome back. We're talking about eating right and knowing what you put in your body. That means you have to know how to read food labels, and it's trickier than you might think. Try this ingredient challenge, for example. How many of you can pronounce this ingredient in breakfast oatmeal? Ma'am, let's get you to, to pronounce that right there. Uh, Pyridoxine hydrochloride. Very good. Okay. Well, how about this one in pita chips? Oh, <laughs> Thiamine mononitrate. Okay, now even better, what is that? <laughs> uh, it's one not, it's one trait of an something. <laughs> Well, joining me now is HCV Pharmacist Gina Eubank to help us understand what seems like a foreign label language. Hello there, Gina. Good morning. Good morning. As a pharmacist, one of the things that you study is reactions in the body. Definitely, definitely. It's, it's not just all about medicine. I mean, if, if you put it in your mouth and it's something every day, we have to know how it's going to interact with the medications that you take, with the organs, everything. Yeah. So. It's, it's very important. We keep talking about how we're seeing obesity and uh, diabetes, cholesterol, high blood pressure at epidemic levels. You see that on the front lines because a lot of people are taking these medications but thinking that if I take the high cholesterol medication, I can still keep eating the way I want to and there's no problem with it. Oh, definitely. I even had patients over the holidays or ones that will go on cruises and they'll say, you know, after they come back, they'll go, well, I took an extra half of cholesterol-lowering medication because I knew I was going to eat really bad. Ooh. And I'm just like, no, no. I mean, there's side effects with these medications. Yeah, and some of those side effects are? Well, I mean, the less serious ones that are just annoying, it's constipation, nausea, vomiting. Mm -hmm. But there are serious ones where it can affect your liver. And so your doctor will do a blood test to make sure that your liver enzymes are okay. And then they'll check it six weeks later. And if your liver enzymes are elevated, you know, it can cause serious liver damage where you can actually have liver failure. So yeah. that's why your doctor continues to monitor this. And I think a lot of people are confused about this. This isn't something you take for life. A lot of these medications are given to take at a, a temporary usage of this medication while you make some changes to get rid of the problem. And a lot of those changes, as we know, when it comes to high cholesterol or diabetes, type 2 diabetes in particular, uh, is what we eat. Oh, definitely. You know, if, if people would look at food as medicine, because if you think about years ago, people, they didn't have medicine. Food and lifestyle, that was their way of staying healthy. Nutrition. And nutrition, 100%. They had to worry about, you know, am I going to get eaten today? You yeah, know, I mean, yeah, 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 that, yeah. That, that was their major concern, <laughs> not by killing themselves with food and right. things like that. Okay, so one of the things that's, that's a big issue is partially hydrogenated oils. What is that? Okay, partially hydrogenated oil is not a naturally found oil. That is something that the food indu industry came up with to make the shelf life longer. So they actually heat the oil up to a very high temperature and infuse the extra hydrogen on there. So it changes the chemical structure completely. So when you ingest it, your body's like, what's this? Yeah. And it doesn't know how to get rid of it. And so it increases your cholesterol, and which leads to tons of different you know, drug disease states. And so it's, it's bad. Yeah, trans fatty acids. Mm -hmm. Trans fatty acids, which that's the bad fat, you know, and so you'll see the label on so many products now because where it says no trans, and uh -huh. that's a big hint to you because, you know, the government and the medical community has gotten involved in this because it's caused so many disease states where, like New York City, it's not allowed in the restaurants to serve partially hydrogenated oil. Yeah, yeah, and when we say like trans fatty acids, people think, okay, fat, not all fat is bad for you. An avocado w with fat or peanuts is not necessarily bad for you. No. But you, it's these fake things. Y you need fats to help build your cells yeah. and, and protect your body. Fat, healthy, good fats, you know, olive oil, avocados, raw nuts, I mean, they're phenomenal for you. Yeah. We've heard a lot in the news about uh, high fructose corn syrup. So whether it's that, whether it's natural sugar from, you know, raw sugar that you're putting in your cup of coffee, whatever, it really comes down to how much are you eating of some of these things. It, exactly. And, you know, with sugar, one, one thing that people do not realize is <sighs> when you eat a sugar, it signals to your pancreas to release insulin. Okay, so then insulin comes to the body and to the sugar, and it takes it over to the cell and it has the key and it unlocks it and it lets the sugar in. Okay, then your body, it signals to your brain, okay, warning, warning, you know, blood sugar has dropped, so it makes you want to eat more. So then the whole cycle repeats where insulin comes, lets it in. Well, guess what? When the cell closet gets full of sugar and they can't use it anymore, they store it as fat. Mm -hmm. So it's going 
back yeah. there, yeah. you know, all, all over, around. you know? Okay, so the thing is, to make better choices when we're choosing food, you've brought some things mm -hmm. today, so tell us what you got going on here. Okay, one that I thought was very interesting, we've got peanut butter. And so many people think, oh, you know, especially with young children and seniors, they'll just grab peanut butter. Well, this particular brand and other brands, you know, they have partially hydrogenated oil. And so you need to really read the label on that. And then over here, I brought a healthy alternative where the ingredient, when you look at this one, all it has, dry roasted peanuts. Huh. That's it. Yeah. And did yeah. you see that long laundry list on the other one of ingredients? You know, the more ingredients it has listed and you can't pronounce them, bad sign. Yeah. That means yeah. that your liver and kidneys are going to have to process it. Yes. Same thing with these, with the, with the taco shells. I brought comfort food here. So, you know, a lot of people think when they eat tacos that they're cheating. Well, partially hydrogenated in this one. This one, it doesn't have it. Same thing with the seasoning. Yeah, this so one the does key it. is to just compare and see. Oh, exact read. Yeah. Doesn't Please mean read. you can't have things, people. Oh, For no. example, ta da! This looks delicious. Okay. And, and, and this this is the brand. It, this is H E B Central Market Pizza. It does not have any partially hydrogenated oil. And the thing to think about with this, you know, it doesn't mean that you can pig out on these things and eat this every single day. You know numerous times because you will gain weight but you know it just means that you're making a healthier choice exactly and you didn't get this way overnight and you're not going to cure it immediately but so you do have the power to cure yourself you do it definitely all so right Gina thank time. you very much and for more information you can always log on to heb.com up next usually the answer to depression pain or fatigue is a prescription our next guest says there's a natural way for your body to get back to normal it helped these two lovebirds restore their marriage we'll explain when we come back Woo!